Okie dokie, let's get started and write some code for the final one which is update. Now one more thing I would like to mention before moving and saying that it's a final note on the update. Now what you will notice that each describe block actually has just not one of these it block. It at least have four or five in actual production environment in which a lot of regress tests need to be done. And right now, in the entire of this couple of videos, we have done just one assertion and which is also not true for a production uh, level thing. So you're gonna see a lot of assumptions are made, a lot of assumptions are tested, a lot of it blocks are also defined and then uh, a whole lot of stuff just goes on. I wanted to keep the things on to very basics because I believe uh, not a whole lot of people are talking about Mocha and testing base environment on MongoDB. That's why I thought let's keep it very, very slow at the first and probably based on response, we can push it on to another level. So uh, let's keep it on to a very short level and we're gonna do again the same stuff. So all delete test and again, I expect you to move them on to a different file again. So this is gonna say all update test. Now again, as we saw in the previous version or previous videos of MongoDB that we have a whole lot of things to update, but the most common one is the set and save method. Surely we have others as well, but we're gonna use the basic one which is set and save. So how does it work? First and foremost, we have to describe a block. So we're gonna say, hey, this is a describe. And here we're gonna say, here are my update tests. And I should make it capital. I think that's gonna look more good. There we go, update tests. There we go, looks awesome. And now we need to throw up a callback, so we're gonna do the same, there we go. First and foremost goes our IT block, this it block. The first thing is we're gonna check for set and save, so we're gonna simply say set and save test. Uh, surely the whole methods, you might want to keep as it block for every single method through which an update is possible. So for that we are gonna go up here, and there we go, just throws a callback. Okay, that looks awesome, but again, same problem is with us. Our database is entirely flushing out, so we don't have anything. So in this case also, we're gonna use before each. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna say, hey, before each, can you create a simple object for me? And he says, yeah, of course I can do it. And this before each takes a callback, so we're gonna throw a callback just like that, just like always. And we're gonna follow the same approach. We called a deleter up here, let deleter. So we're gonna go ahead and call this as updater. So we're gonna say updater. And here's my personal tip, always use these kinds of weird name in the testing so that anybody can just find it out. Hey, this was written by a tester. This is not something like Sam or Hitesh or anybody like that. So updater or test updater, these are like fancy names which goes when into the database. Everybody knows, yeah, this was something testing was done, okay. Moving forward, so what do you want to do in the before each? In the before each, we simply want to create, uh, use this updater, we're gonna simply say new student, and the student is just expecting us to have one parameter, name, and we're gonna call this, hey, add a value, updater in the database, and please save that as well. So we're gonna go ahead and save that. Okay, in the save, we further get a uh, callback, which is a then, not a callback, it's kind of a response that we are getting, which is a then, and we're gonna just say hit here, something like this. So we're gonna say done. Again, chaining up everything in the done is a good idea, but I forgot to just call it done here, so I should do that now. There we go. So this is all done, kind of a exactly copy paste that we have done, instead of deleter, we are calling it updater, so feel free to copy paste from the above. Okay, now how we are going to check for the set and save means how we're gonna check for update. It's actually really, really simple. First and foremost, what we're gonna do in our this IT block, we're gonna call this updater. And updater will have a set method. Remember we talked a little bit about these setting the values. There are two parameters that we have to pass on in the set method. First is what is the key that you're looking up for and what is the new value that you want to push in. So the, the value that I'm looking up for in this updater is name. We just have one value. So I'm looking for that one. And the updated value that I'm going for is up updater. So it's updated, so it's two time updated, that's why up updater, I hope that makes sense. So there we go, and once it is done, it's not fully done, we have just set the value, we have to save the things in the MongoDB every single time you do anything, you have to save it. So for that, we're gonna simply say updater, please save, there we go. And once we're gonna do a save, then surely we can call then, which is gonna be chained up again. Okay, so in the then, what we're gonna do is the same kind of stuff which we have done in the delete, almost same. We're gonna first throw a callback, just like that, and we're going to use this student, 
and we are going to just find everything so just f uh, get me everything what you're having shortly we can go for find and we can look for id that is also one approach as i mentioned there are hundreds of assumptions that can be done i'm going to just look and i'm going to say hey find me all remember in one of the manga video i told you how to find everything which doesn't have any criteria yes you guessed it right it requires you to pass on empty pair of parentheses there we go curly braces not parentheses so there we go and then once we are having this one this further can be chained on to a then okay and in this then we are going to get a result from the above then so we're going to call that back it gives us a list of students whenever i say list of student i mean to say array of students object and then we can just use a callback here there we go so what kinds of assumption we can make it here now there are a couple of assumptions you can make you can check out that the student uh, the first value in the students array is up updater or you can check whether the uh, first value is not updater so however you want to go it's totally on you what kind of assertion you are making so assert and i want to say simply that whatever the students i'm getting back the first value because we are already only having one and his name property should not be equal to updater so that's kind of assumption i'm making in case you want to check out whose value is equal to up updater you can go for that in fact you can do both of them as well you can assert both of them as well so based on how many checks how many strictly check you want to make it's all up to you so we're going to save that and uh, looks all good hopefully this is going to be passing on all the tests we're going to kill that run the npm test and we're going to see four test passing hooray that's awesome so we've got a create test retest update test and delete test as well now in the real world people would like to do more strict check as well they just don't want to check unequal they want to check whether this is equal to uh, up updater so if that's the case we're going to save that and we're going to just by the way i pressed command shift d which duplicates the line so i'm going to press control c again and run that test again this time uh, there we go so we are seeing four tests being passing on and we are having again mode assertion so you can have mode assertion now the number of tests that are passing on is going to be based on eight blocks so number of eight blocks that you have that gives you this message so there we go uh, so however you want to go i think this is like very very not so good line i'm going to just remove or i can just comment that so okay so there we go we have done all the tests for create read update and delete i think that's a good point that you get a little bit of idea how things are going on but again one thing for sure that we deviated a little bit from mongodb we moved into more over mocha and in the mongodb we have just got one student which is not even a good one we should add more values so here's a quick thing that i want to give you as a simple assignment now so far in the schema we have got with just one name as a string now here's a challenge for all of you now i want to create another student schema just add it in this one only and this time i want you to have more uh, it blocks into it so there is going to be name string and the second value that i want you to add is age age is going to be in the integer format and in the assertion in the creation one you always want to check out that age is in integer format so can you do that it's going to be a little bit tricky it's surely going to require a lot of uh, extra work a lot of thinking for sure but that's going to be assignment totally on you so i hope you will be able to submit me that and just uh, share stories on instagram for create test read test update test and delete test and tag me there as well i hope that's going to be pretty fun and i'll be seeing a lot of stories being uh, pumped up on my instagram account hitesh0141 and it's going to be fun that's it for this video hopefully i'm going to catch you up in some another video on the same channel hit that subscribe and let's catch up in another one